Hello and welcome, I'm Dave. Today we're going to learn about the Django ORM, and I'll provide links to all resources in the description below. I'll also provide a link for you to join my Discord server where you can discuss web development with other students, and you can ask questions that I can answer and receive help from other viewers too. I look forward to seeing you there. The source code for today's tutorial starts where the previous lesson ended, and there's a link in the description that provides the code for each lesson. We've got VS Code open. Let's go ahead and open a terminal window once again, and let's start our virtual environment with source. Now we want to type .venv slash scripts, bin if you're on Mac or Linux. After that, activate, we'll press enter, and that should start our virtual environment. I can press enter again to make sure we have the .venv in parentheses, and we do. With that said, let's go ahead and talk about the topic for today, but we're not going to close the terminal window right away. So the topic is the Django ORM, and it's a little easier to explore that ORM in the shell, and we're going to do that in the terminal, which is why I leave that open. But also, what is an ORM? It's object relational mapping, it's kind of the intermediary between our Python code and our database. So we can execute something in our Python code and then it goes ahead and carries out that action on the database. So we have mapped what we are doing from our model to our actual database and that ORM kind of carries out the commands between the two. So now let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to do that by typing pi, Python if you're on Mac or Linux, after that, manage.py and then shell and press enter. And I got ahead of myself, we need to actually CD into the my project folder first and I should do that at the beginning of every lesson right after starting the uh, environment. So now we're in the my project folder, I'm going to arrow up and see if I can do that pi manage.py shell once again. Now we have the interactive console like we expect. And so to work with our post model in this interactive console shell, we actually need to import that as well. So we can say from, and then we'll say posts.models, and I need to type models correctly. And then we will import post with a capital P, which is our post model. And once we've imported that, we can create a new instance. So I'm going to say P equals post and put the parentheses after that, and then press enter. So now we have a new instance of our post model. So if I type P, see what we get back. It says it is a post object. The none means we haven't saved any post yet to our database. So there is no a post model, no post object at this point based on the post model saved in our database. So that's all that the none means. So from here, let's go ahead and assign a title. So we'll say p.title equals my first post with an exclamation mark and then in that with a quote and press enter. So now we have applied that title and now we should save this to our database. So we'll just say p.save and put parentheses once again and I'll press enter. And now that is saved to the database. So you can see how easy working with the ORM is in Django. And now that we've saved that, let's retrieve all the posts that we have in our database, which at this point it's only one, but we can confirm that by typing post dot objects dot all and parentheses, I'll press enter, and it returns a query set back. And you can see it says we have one post object now in our database. Instead of none, we have a one in the parentheses here. But that post object is kind of generic, and if we had more posts in there, it would be nice to be able to tell the difference between the posts as well. So we can do that. First, we need to exit this interactive shell though. So I'll type exit and parentheses. Now that we've exited the shell, let's go ahead and close the terminal window. Let's open my project over here in the file tree. From there, let's go into the post directory where we created our posts app, and let's go to the models.py file. Now we wanna add a method to our post class. Now a method is like a function, except it's part of a class. So underneath, and we'll make sure we're indented so it applies to this post class. Let's go ahead and start, and I'll type def, and then a space, two underscores, str, and you can see Visual Studio Code wants to help us, so I can just press tab, and it's going to apply most of what we need. So we've got two underscores, str, two underscores, parentheses, the word self, and then a colon, return self dot, and they put name here, but what we really need is self dot title based on our model above. So now we want to return the title instead of just a generic 
phrase post object. So let's save this change to our model. Now this isn't changing the data in our model. So we don't need to create another migration and send this to the database. This is just a method here that we can call on the model. So no migration is necessary. So now let's open up a terminal window once again. And we need to start back where we were from the beginning as far as the shell is concerned. So here I'm going to type i manage.py shell to get back into that interactive shell. And now I need to import the post model again. So I'll say from posts.models, and then we'll say import and post with a capital P. So now we've imported the post model once again. Let's create another new instance. So I'll say P equals post and parentheses. So that's a new instance. Let's create a second uh, post title here. So I'll say this is my second post. And after we've done that, let's save this post as well. So now we should have two posts in our database. Let's go ahead and check that by using the post model and then saying objects dot all and parentheses afterwards. I'll press enter. And now when we get that query set in return, you can see instead of saying post object, it says post my first post and post my second post based on those titles that are inside of our posts. So you've learned a little bit about interacting with the ORM that is built into Django. Now in the next lesson, we're going to work with the Django admin where we can add more posts and you'll see how all of this can work inside of our web app. But for now, don't forget to exit this interactive model by typing exit with parentheses and pressing enter. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you. And thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day, and let's write more code together very soon.